when I talk about self-absorption as the root of all psychological evil, what I'm suggesting is that it seems to play a major role in almost all mental disorders, from personality disorders, and not just narcissistic, but also avoidant and histrionic and several others, but also mood disorders. There's a lot of self-absorption in depression and bipolar disorder. There's a lot of self-absorption in anxiety disorders and panic and phobic reactions, that kind of thing. And the list just goes on and on, including PTSD. And uh, it seemed to me worthwhile to point out that our self-absorption is our enemy because self-absorption isn't like introspection or self-reflection, which is all seen as positive, particularly self-awareness, but self-absorption as such has all kinds of negative connotations.